What's really timeshare? Like, timeshares is like basically it's like you you own portion of like a portion of the whether it's a lodge or some let's say Sun City they'll sh- sell you the timeshares like you you can go there anytime but you pay a monthly fee I think so you pay a monthly fee you use your credit card and all Cosley, of this I'm not with you. I'm, what I'm are you not, bro. I'm like, not with you. I know time I share where you spend two hours <laughs> with your dad a week <laughs> and you're like, time I time Time shares. Time shares. Time shares. <laughs> time shares. <laughs> no. Hey, talk, I'm so excited. <laughs> All roads lead to Pulukwane this yeah, weekend. Yeah. Sunday, we are there. Lead to Pulukwane. Yeah. Brunch. Brunch. Hey, hey, Brunch. hey, 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 hey. Uh, we're going to do the first ever podcast and chill special. Uh, so what's going to happen, right? We're going to do a live show <gasps> with Daniel Ranaka. Mm. Yes, with yeah. a live audience in Limpopo, in in in, in Pulukwane, to be exact. Oh, Limpopo, Pulukwane. Yes, yes. Oh. IREX, uh, and then after that we party, bro. Mm. Damn, you dropping a set? Of course. The world's greatest DJ. Yay! <laughs> greatest. <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> He's so good. They call him a mixologist. Yo. <laughs> yeah, show some fucking respect. <laughs> yeah. I'll be on the decks. Uh, Aya is gonna be there. Lady Do is gonna be there as well. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. So I think by the time oh. this comes out, uh, the tickets will be sold out. But yeah, make sure you check out the, the description below for tickets Dope. and get yourself some tickets so you can come rock with us this Sunday. I'm excited, man. Have you played in, in Bulugwan? That's your first time. Yeah, I've played in Bulugwan. Is it? Oh, nice. Bulugwan, Bulugwan. Yeah, I've played in Bulugwan, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've played in Bulugwan. Are you dropping a, I'm a piano set or what, what set are you dropping? What time are you putting me on? Yeah, yeah, we gotta put you on prime time, dog. Okay. Then I'm playing the piano set. You gotta rock, ne? Ah, prime time. What's prime time? What's prime time actually? Uh, I think ten. There's no curfew anymore, right? Don't worry, I'll rock. Yeah, ten, I'll rock piano. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I rock whatever I see is valuable to be rocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, and now what do you mean, hey, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Shout out to our sponsors. We haven't given them a shout out in a while. Big shout out to Accelerate Fiber. If you need access to fast internet, affiliate link in description below. Guys, I'm just trying to do a shout out to our sponsors. Yeah, so we can get paid. (laughs) Yeah, do it. I mean, it's cool. Load, if you right? need if you need fast <laughs> internet, check out accelerate.co.za. Uh, also, we're coming at you live from David Mashevela Studios. If you want to use these studios, email podcast at thisismegg.com. And Tanya, yes, our lawyer I'm for your lawyer. legal matters, yeah. uh, contact Tanya Mukwane Inc. via email on info at tmiincorporated.co.za. No, the tmincorporated.co.za rather. And WhatsApp them on 068-279-6278. So whenever you need Legal Jam, contact Tanya Mukwane Inc. Attorneys. They are efficient, mm. professional, reliable, and affordable. Can you please start with the wife? Kanyimbao, oh. sex scene. Oh. Hey. Did you watch that? Hey. I didn't, I saw it on Twitter. I haven't, you know, I haven't seen a single episode of The Wife. It's Bro. That's not the issue, but like, I haven't seen that well, thing. I Bro. think it's fine that you've never seen anything. That Now, this scene has taken, literally, take everything. It, we've forgotten the whole First season, now it's this. Why? Yeah, but you're missing out. So it's a good scene show, dog. Oh, this scene does not take them back. No. Back way. Like, it's it's good. It's progressive. Not really, but it's okay. To be honest, it is kind of like, how and then? Why did it? It was just too much, though. It was hey. TMI. Hey. Like, too much. You could upload that on Pornhub, bro. Exactly. Yeah, like, I love porn. <laughs> and that thing, though, was like, you. Even for me, like, you. <laughs> I'm seeing ripples, you know, like when you smash the ass so much, there's like ripples. Like, there you go. Waves, do like. They call I'm like, it, whoa! They should call it the wave, the show, not the wife, the wave. Yeah. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Damn it. Dude, I was like, wow, this is wild. That was too much. I saw that. Because I saw it. The, the still mm. so the still image I saw was the niggas crack she's like on the um, speak us right 
And it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. And I saw the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, they're, they're clapping your cheeks. Dude. Senior got in there. Yo, bro. She's a bomb. You, that thing, I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know what? I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about the, like, everybody else. You think but it I was, was for like, views, though, guys? Hmm? Like, just to get views? You reckon? Yeah. Yes. You see, the thing is. Because the storyline, like, literally kind of, it's just literally going down. Like, it's losing on the storyline side. Oh. And then they did oh. this. It was like, oh. is this for us now to stay? D- and I've been seeing people, like. Complaining, that, right? That you, the the storyline mm. is. Because is, 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 the show is, is kind of like is Isi Baya meets. Losing. Well, now it's like Isi Baya meets Game of Thrones with the sex scenes. The sex yeah. scenes are lit. Isibaya, yeah, but Game, like, of Game of Thrones. Isi Baya, Game of Thrones. When Khal Drogo yeah. was smashing Khaleesi. Yeah. I am Khaleesi. I'm like, <laughs> I am Khaleesi. And I go, <laughs> And we see everything. Uh, Khaleesi. <laughs> I was shocked that Kanye Bao, because she's a very uh, prominent uh, celebrity. I was shocked that she was she willing to go to naked, bro. Yeah. But she's an actress now. Mm. She's not. She's no longer like a. But how many actresses with would go that with far? Yeah, because mostly actresses that are well known don't do sex scenes. Yeah, they like Cindy Lato. Imagine Cindy Lato. Tanu Tabete has done a sex scene with Lungle uh, Khadu. That that graphic, did you see her titties? No, yeah. but it was almost like it was well edited. Yeah, that's but the it thing. really builds you up. Like you get a hard on, bro. I know you think you'll never get a hard on from Tando, but you get a hard <laughs> on. Like you really get a hard on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's, it's it's steamy. Yeah, you know, cause like he rips up the clothes, they show the eyes, they show the they never show the like the pelvic part, you know, like mm. with. Well, like with Kanye getting yeah. the S mm. clap, mm, mm, you don't see that, but it's very well edited. Very what, well what done. What show was this? What show was uh, Tando Tabete rocking Lungu Does anyone know? Isono, not sure. Isono, no Isono. Ways, man. Come not Isono. Isono, bro. What TV are you What's watching? What TV? Hey, man. You're not the Chomos of TV. You're not the Chomos on. He doesn't watch TV too much. Are you the Ngosi of TVs, eh? <laughs> <laughs> He not the drama son of TV, bro. Tata Tabuti and Lunga. Lungila Khadu. Oh, Lungila Khadu. I think it was a movie. Is it Ratu? Oh, wow. I think it was a movie, yes. Ratu. Tata Tabuti and Lungila Khadu. Khadu, there's no Radu or Radebe, you know. It's a Khadu. Movies, then. Khadebe. Love sucks or something, ne? Yeah. Yes, oh. I think it's love sucks. Yeah, but I saw it on Twitter. They were comparing it to that, and I saw that, and I was like, whew, steamy as hell. 94.7 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Hot in the fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't found it. I think it's love sucks. Let's just say it's love sucks for the sake of the podcast. Now... But there's a sex scene between Lula Khadu and um, Tando. It's nice, yeah. man. Oh, it's nice, bro. It's nice. Would you do a sex scene like that, Ghost Lady? Never. For real? Like, live? Yeah. Hey. Oh, I never, guys. Oh, I... And that was too much. You see, you see, the, 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 the Tando Taburi one is much better. Mm. Like, a bit, at least there was good editing. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, Kanyimbao. I was just like... Guys, it was too much. It was would just too much. That was a porn that belonged on Pornhub. Would you make a sex tape with your husband? Of course. Mm. Just for, for our own personal viewing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No, yeah. Have you, you got? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, What's you your, are you on what? camera or are you a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> he was Can having sex with the Holy Ghost. Definitely <laughs> <laughs> with the Holy. Otherwise, there's no sex for him, right? <laughs> Guys, obviously, anyone in a relationship can play around. And when enjoy. you when you watch your your sex tape, right? What's the favorite position you enjoy of the sex tape? Man, you can't ask ghost lady like that. She's like our mother, dog. I was your looking mother. at the- <laughs> oh, my mother. <laughs> your mother, not my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like? I don't know. I don't know. She's trying to keep her private things private. Exactly. Leave, ah. leave my things alone. Ah. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I'm getting all hot already. Like, yeah. Wow. 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 Wow.
Enough, bro, to yeah. keep me awake. Yeah. I, enough. <laughs> yeah. Enough. They'll never see the light of day. Mm. Exactly. And you delete Cause, them. Because, no, I don't. They're in the Whoa. cloud. They're in my, 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 they're in my um, Google Drive. And. <laughs> Location? Or sex drive, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're in my Google Drive. I'll never, like, they'll never, like. I watch them once in a while, you know? But never, like, never. I've got enough. But yeah. is it with your current? Or do you have, like, do you keep No, nah, they're from exes? the past. Oh, they're from the past. <sighs> now I don't mm. feel the need to record anything. Mm. Unless someone tells me that, hey, I want to record something, then, yeah, let's record. Put the ring light there, and let's do our thing. But, like, no, past. I got a call from Timo Touch. And he was saying, "Oh, dope!" Uh, um, the reason he got uh, the Metro gig was because of the episode he did with us. Wow! Whoa. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. So, wow. what percentage from the four hundred eighty thousand are we getting? <laughs> we need to claim our commission. <laughs> yeah, we need to claim our commission. <laughs> Actually, that is big, guys. Because how many people say people will end up here in the podcast and they lose? Here is a win for coming on the podcast. So oh yeah, we, they say we destroy big. careers. Exactly. Yeah. I saw a tweet. We make like, so many exactly. careers, man. I saw a tweet, and the problem: no one fucking comments. Like when we had Butelezi, what's his name, Teddy? Yeah. We had now, now. Yeah. It's like, yo, dog, everybody's like, we kill careers. No, we don't. You come here, you speak your truth, right? And the Teddy told his story. It was brilliant. And no one will ever say, shout out to, for the amazing job you guys do. Yeah. Okay, I'm lying. A lot of people do. But, like, it's like people ignore that. The guys are saying, we, we don't fucking kill careers. Yeah. Do, do, okay, let's be honest. If you're the program manager at Metro FM, yeah, yeah. right? And you've got spare knaves. <laughs> I see where this is going. Yes. <laughs> hey, he reads minds also. <laughs> yes, continue. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> he reads minds. <laughs> Builds careers and reads minds. How was a Tom Cruise interview? We're interviewing him next week. <laughs> Since you read minds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. What was I saying? I was asking. No, you're going about. Yeah, program manager. Yeah, program manager. Oh yeah, you're yeah. a program manager yeah. at, at Metro FM. Yes. You've got more flavor. Just <laughs> 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 I'm gonna finish my question. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> you see, the only thing I can put on here is the ice, because the ice, I don't want to about the company, the company that makes the ice. <laughs> it's just the ice, you know. The dash, it's under the table. <laughs> want to fucking see no dash. Between his pet names, who's the ice boy? <laughs> ah. Uh, oh, they're both uh, the ice boys because they do everything together, dog. Yeah, nice they dog, probably yeah. make babies together. In these nice <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck, I'm dead. By the way, man, I'm dead. Lo- I love spare names. Great guys. Great guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm supposed to uh, spare at like, Campus Square the other week. And I was like, Scary guys! And I hid inside the car. Like, you didn't see me. Great yeah. guys, love them, but probably had the worst drive time show at Metro FM. Facts. Oh, yeah. Who's had drive times at Metro FM? Before them, it was Clint Lewis, Steve Otach. Who else has been there? Big names, bro. Yeah. Who was there also? Who? Oh, was he? Oh, who? I don't know. Who? I don't know who. Flavor. Mm. Oh, Mo. Mm. Okay. Hey, you may be right. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Okay. So you're the program manager. Spare names is on drive. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> can I finish? <laughs> like, can I finish, dog? Yes, I can. Fucking hell, man. I can, I can. Whoa. <laughs> hey, can I be from Finland? <laughs> yeah. Can I be from Finland? Yeah. Can I finish? Yes, you can. Oh, great. Cool. And more flavor, breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> can I be from Finland? Okay, okay, okay. These are I'm two of your f- biggest shows. Mm. 
on the station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Money makers. Currently. Mm. Who would you, as a program manager, feel is, is weak? Or, like, would you, you know, program manager is always like, we've got a strong drive, a weak breakfast. Breakfast, yeah. Uh, a strong breakfast, weak drive. Mm. St- weak drive, strong breakfast. Mm. Who do you, in your opinion, should be replaced? Spare names. Okay. Mm. Would Timo touch with the guy to save Metro FM right now? I think so, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Of course. Definitely. Based definitely. on the history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even on the cli- in this climate, you think he just is gonna is the saving grace? Yeah, yeah. He's still got a pool. My thing is, I believe that so, but with that same team, isn't he? Uh, does he have the same team? With that same, I don't know the team, but that team, the chemistry was magical. Yeah, with uh, what was, was uh, Joe Man? Joe Man is, is it Latin Pakanyan? I don't know. I don't know who the other lady was. Yeah. There was a, a lady. Yeah. But Joe Man, mm. Lerato and that guy. Yeah. And, Amazing. And Touch and Mbakanyane or oh, that lady actually is what I meant to say. Brilliant. Like, Do you think he's th- getting the half a million? No. Yeah. I yeah. think someone from his camp leaked the news. Yeah. So, so we can we, talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, yo, I'm working as a producer or this, this, at this station. I heard a, a little birdie told me that... He's getting 480. Come on, though. It's a busy season financial straits. Yeah. But even if, he is get, even if he was getting 480, it's still a little, bro. Still a little. Imagine how much he makes for them, bro. Think about it. But that would also apply to a lot of DJs who came before him, like your Jeremy Mansfield on your former employee when they were still called Heifeld. You know, he made millions of them for mm. them. Mm. He made millions, but I don't think it was like, I mean, he was the highest guy, paid guy at that time, and it was something along the 200,000s. No, and man, are you mad? Jesus, Jeremy, how much was he getting? Bro, he used to get, uh, uh, he used to pay, get paid quarterly. That's how much he was getting, because he was getting a share of the revenue as well. So there's so much they had to pay him quarterly. They Are didn't pay him for per real? month. Yeah. They what? didn't pay him per month. That happened to me also. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm this fat. They were also paying me on my court. Kidding. Has it been a, a hotter breakfast show after that Jeremy one? Uh I'd argue Tata and Tata. Uh, on Highfield. Oh no, no, no. No, I, I, no, I doubt it. So that's the most, like the high, well, obviously inflation considered highest grossing at that time. Yeah. And yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. So they s- deserved it. Salary wise, yeah. which DJ has been paid, has gotten paid the most? Good question. 480. Yeah. Uh, I think Fresh was getting 300, 400. I don't know. I'm speculating. Oh, come on. Yeah. From SABC. No, no, no. From Heifeld. Oh, now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Dog, are you with us today? What's going on? <laughs> I'm with you, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I mean like... Fresh is done how many shows? You just mentioned Tato and Tato, which is a YFM show. Yeah. It's on 5FM, Drive, Breakfast. So if you so, say... So on of a- course, I need to confirm where, on which station. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. On a- okay, SAPC. I'm with you. I'm just What's the highest answer? paid they've you, given? You don't specify. Or you don't know? The what? Like I'm just saying with SABC. Oh, I don't know about SABC. Yeah, what's the yeah, highest? Yeah, so that's why I'm asking. Like on which show? He's done how many shows? Fresh. Yeah. How, why would I assume? I'm with you. Why would I assume it's Highfield? You're talking no, I about. I get you with me. You Are you with me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. What the fuck? <laughs> like he's asking, am I with him? I'm like, which show are you talking about on Freshes? Like, don't make me feel like I'm absent. I'm working. I'm here. And Are I you with you, me? I heard you the first time you said so. No. Uh, yeah, but you're asking if I'm here, and I'm asking you a valid question. Which show? That fresh did. And I said, yes, I'm with you. Then you asked me, am I with me? Are you, am I with you? <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm with you, son. I'm yeah, with you. bro. Yes, as you say. Yeah, which show of, of freshers? <laughs> I felt. <laughs> Thank you. You with me? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Like, yo, bro, don't ask, make me question myself. If, what the fuck am I doing today? You know, I'm here. Usa, I'm asking so a... V- Usa. <laughs> <laughs> I told I must pay you, not my, yeah, my, my yeah, therapist. Yeah, you, yeah, you're the yeah, I'm here. I'm here for you. <laughs> no, I don't. Th- I think he's making it up. I think touching yeah, yeah, yeah. it up. The whole. I think it's from his camp. I don't <laughs> think they're paying him for eighty. Uh, does he deserve it? Who am I to say? But does ACBC afford it? I don't think they do. Yeah. Look, 
The, yeah, knowing Tash, I feel like it is an escalated figure. <laughs> knowing, yes, yeah, yeah, like knowing he Tash, embellishes stuff. Uh, yeah, exactly. So. Did he get you in tops? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you see, thank you. He, Tash, Tash said, I'm going to get you in tops, my nigga. Did he get you in tops? Yeah. He, Tash embellishes things. He does so well, yeah. but he will say, I'm doing 100 times better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He actually does, and he, he's doing very well. I believe he embellishes things, and I don't think... Did he get you in tops? Nah, nah, nah. Nah. It's like even his way. So now, Hambang and Bambo, you're topless. No ways, bro. You get you in tops. So, what's going to happen to Fire FM now, bro? Because Rob's doing his thing. Taj is going back to radio. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen to Fire FM? Uh, I don't think it'll happen. Nah. Nah. Like, I don't think... That ship has sailed. Nah. Oh, ship. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with you, dog. Are oh, you with me, dog? Are you here? Are we on the same boat? <laughs> same ship? <laughs> Fucking hell. Nah, I think that ship has sailed. Yeah, yeah. And uh, crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah? What if they employed the guys who were planning oh, ship? I mean... <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the thingy. Which thing? Fired FM. Yeah. So that it doesn't happen. Oh. Nah. Possibly, right? Because mm. he did mention it in that interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, they mentioned on the social media. Yes. You know what I mean? So what if... You're right, actually. So it got successfully cancelled mm. before it happened. Mm. Right? Just give the guys, a few guys, jobs there and there. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, what else I got you? Oh, yeah. Did you see a woman ac- who accused Chris Brown of rape admits she lied? Oh, did you see that? I did. Hey, it's wild, man. I did. Wait. And thank God he released that footage. Well, you know. A woman? That kind of just like... He released footage? Yeah, there was footage. Obviously, that's just from that woman. Angeti, she accused him of the rape yeah. and all of these allegations. Yeah. And then there's texts and messages that showed that, uh, that, that, that didn't happen like that. Yeah. So imagine. And what happened to her now? Like, what's the recourse? So, are that, yeah, that's it. I think now he's demanding yeah. an apology. Okay. Yeah, he's demanding an apology. Right, but so. Yeah. But the damage is done. The damage, though. yeah. The damage is done, bro. Rape but luckily, is there, a was high crime, man. It's like a there was proof. There was proof. Imagine if there wasn't. And then everybody that said, I believe her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it was leading on to Katlejo, my boy. So now people are like, what they want people aren't even to hear the other side, you know? Because yes, we're just very quick to go. Okay, yes, I believe. And then you next minute maybe charges are dropped and all of this. Then it's like, what's the other story? Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we never hear those, right? It's always like, ooh, you're accused of this thing, and then we never really like follow. Hey, what happened with that uh, thingy? What? Amanda, remember uh, she, she she went on Instagram saying if any woman has been raped by you, and like to. To me, that was like fucking hell. Are they blaming you for accusing you of rape? What happened to that case? My lawyer's still handling it. We should call her next to get feedback. To ask if she's got any emails saying. No, they didn't, get, they didn't get any emails, dog. Bro, if they got emails, so, bro, they'd have billboards with those emails now. <laughs> so she's allowed to go out there and say. Of course, if, of course. No, that's not. Like, I can't just say, hey, now from this podcast, if you've got any emails that he raped, you send. Because now, even if I don't get emails, people out there are like, no, it's. No, possibly could have raped someone. It still leaves that. Ah, thought bro, in but we spoke head. about this last year, man. It's 2022. Let's move on from that. Yeah, but I'm asking if what has happened about it. I said it's with my lawyer. Ah. So we're gonna yeah. call her hopefully next week. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he, let's move on from it. Yeah. Are you with me? Well, can you call your lawyer next week? Are you with me? <laughs> like, can you call your lawyer next week? Are you with me? <laughs> Cool. And shout out to the chiller who called the Breakfast Club. Oh. And, and it was like, uh, everybody should check out Podcast and Chill, that man. Was, that was oh, beautiful. man. Yeah. That was amazing. And even for Charlemagne to acknowledge and to go, oh, Mac G. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Know Good guy. Hey? Stand up guy. Like, genuine guy. Yeah. So, you know what I was thinking? You know what would be dope, dog? Yeah. Because you know the radio uh, lineups are changing in April. So, it would be dope if we got our chillers to call radio stations and be like, Hey, my name is Saul. I'm a chiller. Uh, subscribe to Podcast and Chill. <laughs> they must to, just to call it to a radio station. Oh, yeah. Oh, dope. And, then, and they must yes. record it and then we'll play it on the show. Yes. Yo, <laughs> Yo chillers, call it to your favorite station. <laughs> and we're like, 
fuck the area code. <laughs> my name is Saul. I am. Exactly. You know, employ me as your next drive show host. Uh. <laughs> That's that, right? That's what they do? They'll yeah. just drop the phone there on you, of course. At least make it neat. Make it nice. Oh, yes. yeah. No, yeah. simple. Just call and yeah, say, call yo, in. my name is Saul. I'm a chiller. Please subscribe to Podcast and Chill on and YouTube. And my question oh, is... Oh, that's that. Yo. Shit, I'm not with you today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not with you, bro. I'm in a different... I'm in a, I'm in a different planet. Did I just say, hey, I'm so make me... No. My name is Saul. Subscribe to... Podcast and Podcast Chill. And chill. He wasn't even scared to ask, Dude, are you with me? <laughs> then I, I would have considered, like, no, I'm not with you. No, I was lost, dog, but I'm not. Let me oh, know yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. Make it neat, yeah. My name is Saul. Oh, my name is Ghost Lady. I'm a chiller. I'm a, I'm a chiller. chiller. Please subscribe to Podcast, Podcast and, and chill, chill on YouTube. So and this then you is can answer whatever question, what, whatever you're calling in for. Yeah, you so can call. So let's say ask they, ask you, they ask you, what did you have for breakfast? You know, one of those yeah. stupid... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you call, you're like, cool. no, I had uh, moja chicken for breakfast today. Dope. By the way, my name is Saul. I'm a chiller. Please subscribe to Podcast and Chill. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Record it and then we'll play it on the show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you with Chillers. me? Are you I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I think the show is hashtag are you with me? Okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with him now. I'm hashtag I believe him. Yeah. You believe me? Yeah. Nah, I could. <laughs> I believe him. <laughs> you stand with me? Yeah, stand with me. Yeah, oh, dope. Yeah. Yo, I'm a chiller. Yeah. Eh. Uh, Subscribe to me. <laughs> I think you So, what did you have this morning for breakfast? <laughs> Kola, what did you have this morning for breakfast? Tell me. Kola, we, we hey, it's Mukwevu from Limpopo. Hey. Uh, what did you have for breakfast, Mukwevu? My Shonja. You're supposed to say, I'm Mick G. Subscribe to Podcast and Chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, dope. I like that, bro. Yeah, and then we'll play them, bro. Send them to the oh. WhatsApp line, ne? Yeah. Yeah, send, uh, send them to the WhatsApp line. So while they're recording on the line... Yeah. Record you know, phones episode. can record now, so you're like, yeah. Oh, fuck, they record now. Yeah, yeah. Dope. Anyway, big shout out to Drip. Uh, it was announced that the new sponsor of a PSL team called Sekukune United. Sekukune. Yeah. Sekukune. Yeah. Is it in the PSL? Sekukune. Never heard of that team. Where's it from? Where's it from now? From Skukune. Skukune. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Limpopo. Oh, okay. Oh, dope, man. Hey, Drip is doing big things, eh? Hey? Yo, Drip is just crazy. And Lika is no longer the, 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 the CEO of the shoes. Yeah. He's the yeah. CEO of the group. Of the group. Yeah, yeah. And the group, now they've got a baby store. Yeah. Like oh, they've got a baby, baby store? Yeah, they sell baby... Yeah, yeah, you, you you should know, man. Yeah. You're like going shopping drip. there now for a new kid. Yeah, they've got baby... Is it Go. baby drip? Baby drip? No, it's not good. <laughs> no, it is not called baby... I don't know what it's called. It's not baby drip. Yeah, yeah they, they sell... Oh, um, Kitty's Republic. Oh, Kitty's Republic. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, dope, man. It's That's one of dope. their clients. Yeah, they've got a... They, they sell baby clothes now. Kitty's Republic. And the is no longer shoes of the... Yeah. It's no longer... CEO yeah. of the shoes yeah. thingy department. He's now the group, group. department of Dope. all the subsidiaries. Uh, shout out to a lady who we love on the podcast, Tusom Bedu. Yes, Whoa! yes, 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 yes. She won an award for best female performance in a scripted series at the Independent Spirit Awards for a role in the Underground Railroad. Oh man, she's flying, bro. She's She's no longer underground. She's above the ground now, dog. Now nah, she's gone. She's gone. I bro. said that about her. She tweeted me, said, I'm not gone. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, but she's gone. For real. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. gone, bro. Yeah. Like, oh, too now she deserves it, man. Oh, she's uh, like also, me. Linda Mtoba uh, gets Vaseline deal. Beautiful actress who had a stint in Isibaya. Linda Mtoba announced this week she signed a deal Toba. with Vaseline. Who's that? Do you guys know? Remember? Yeah, the the lady married to a white guy with a kid. Yeah. Lately, the, the one who played, you see Sisu Gomo? When yeah. he went to, what's his name? Mensa Ngubeni. Ngubani Ngubeni. Ngubeni. When he went to um, Ispaya, the guy, he played a taxi owner, the daughter. Yeah. On Ispaya, Linda Mitoba. Beautiful. Oh. But she's also on the Almost river. looks like. She's also on the river, if I'm not. Oh, Yeah. Also on the river, yes. Oh, Almost looks like uh, the one you made a song with. <coughs> Sims and Gemma oh, and her. Sims, yes, it's yes, like yes. the same level of, or category of beauty. Yeah, so shout out to her, man. Also shout out to Pizza, Pizza Msiman. Pizza. Pizza Msiman. Pizza? Yeah. 
Am I saying it right? It's like you're not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Prism. Shout out to Prism. Prism Musiman. Musiman. Yes, Musiman. Yeah, he signed a two year contract with Al Ahli. Extended. Mm. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Shout out to him, man. I Shout think out this to time some in Africa Africans is over, doing great though. things overseas, yeah, man. man. Oh. I think it's big things. But yeah. I think it's time days over. We must go to Man United or something. Yeah, we they need him, man. Yeah, he yeah, y'all need pizza. Like, y'all need, you know. That Draknik guy is only coached for two years, <laughs> the past 10 years of like high profile teams. Ah, you need a proper coach. Yeah. Uh, anything else I'm missing out? What do you want to talk about? <sighs> Shout out to Raymond Zondo. He's been appointed as the Chief Justice. Mm. Now we've got a Chief Damn, Justice. Damn, he's yeah. the Chief Justice. Yes, by the President. Yeah. He's gone wow. up that ranking, you know? You know, yeah. we're drawing from the Zondo Commission. Okay. Now he's the Chief Justice. Nice. You guys don't know politics. Eh? I have to act like hey. I know him, otherwise they'll have me. Bro. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, man. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you know. But what, what is arrested. What? What's Raymond what? Tabila saw about Tabila in court. Oh yeah. What's, do you know what's going on? What's going on there? No, remember she was. Um, she came. She was on the like. She appeared for the Zondo Commission, and obviously there's a whole lot of came out <coughs> that time, and then. Because of I, I can't remember what exactly, but now she has to, um, is facing jail time. Must I Google the story? Google, Google, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> no, she lied under oath. She lied, yeah. Because yeah. oh, I'm trying to think. Yes. Under oath. Yeah. Yes, because I'm trying to think exactly. Like, yeah. Like she I lied saw under thing. oath. I just didn't read yeah, up on it. The charges. She doesn't Google anymore. Yeah. No, no. no so the she charge, lied. Yeah. The charge is perjury. Yes, it's perjury. Yeah. Thank you. Damn. So she yeah. can touch yeah. Yes. She said she only earns 100k, uh-huh. so they must take it easy on, on Thank her. Thank you, Aya. Uh, She's salary, right? <laughs> oh, damn, bro. Dude, how do you lie on oath? And she was rude and that time. She was rude and just so behaved like, you know. Jeez. So now it's all the coming balls to do Zia that. Kala. Zia Kala. Yo, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. man. That's crazy. Bro. What's Come going on. on with the petrol prices going up? Again, Apparently. two rand this time, guys. Oh. Next month it's gonna be going up. I think two rand something, eh? Crazy. I saw something like it's gonna be forty grand. Yeah, at some point, I've yeah. I've been seeing those articles flying around. I'm like, yeah. they can't just hike it hundred percent up. Yeah, I know that'd be wild, dog. No yeah, place. like they can't. I think they were like incrementally. Yeah, no, of course. What was that? Like, that's crazy, bro. But petrol. Wasn't price it like a future up? prediction of it could end up at forty rand per liter? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I saw I'm, those I'm seeing. Thingy, no, like someone's, someone sent me a, a, a thingy. There's a strike that the Uber guys are going to do. That there will be like an Uber like shut down for all the e-hailing services for like a week because they, they are complaining that petrol is going up. Mm. Which is what we're talking about now. And the, the, the thingy, the mm. prices are not going up and they're making less and less money. Shouldn't it be taxis though? Like Even taxis. I think they'll also be going up next taxis month. Taxis always strike. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, that's a lot. Yeah, dog. it's going to, it's just, it's too much. Petrol price, guys, is too much. That's why I got a scooter, man. 50 rand full tank. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm sure now it's 200 rand full I tank. Are you sure? Right now. I need to get a scooter. Uh, uh, I got to full tank now. How's that thing? Like, because I'm one for, I, I never, like, it's good because I'm considering it. It's like, yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it's comfortable. Get a Vespa. Get a Vespa. A Vespa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's comfortable. It's cheap. Fifty bucks. You can last two weeks, depending on where you're going. Because yeah. I use it like just to go to the shops or whatever, you know. Okay. My yeah. car was like my car is one point uh one point two liter, and when I got the car, I think like seven years back, literally, I think one hundred and fifty rand could just take me so far. Whoa. Now, two hundred rand. Next day, you have to fill up again. Damn, that was a long you're time. Chill ago. on the sofa. As, as opposed to just driving around. Yeah, dog. I mean, with that, that's ridiculous. That's dog. crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, no. Something is happening, bro. And I don't it's like bad. it. Like, it's crazy. Do all other countries have this kind of increments? Like, it's just bad, man. Like, people are complaining every time petrol is going up. Yeah. I yeah. think South Africa is one of the highest petrol prices, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks yeah. weird. It's always yeah. been the case. Like, South Africa is with the, just always the highest petrol. And also, it's taxed as well. So, there's also a tax. Whereas other countries. Like, Factor in mm. into it as well. Mm. You know? Do you guys know of a guy called Tasnim Musa? Tasnim Musa. Yeah. Do you know Lila, is it that, that, that yeah, the Twinder Tinder swindler, our own? He Tinder is swindler. the travel swindler. Mm. He's not the Tinder swindler. He's the travel swindler. Also, oh, oh. he swindles women. 
No, no, not woman. Uh, let me read the story. It goes, forget Tinder swindler. Mzanzi <gasps> now boasts that. of its own travel swindler, Tasneem Musa MD, and founder of a travel company called Hello Darlings. He's been given uh, a new name as a travel swindler after swindling millions of rands from unsuspecting clients, people invested in holidays that never materialized. Wow. And their monies are gone. It has been reported that Tasneem stole more than 10, 100 million. Jeez. 100, wait, 100 million rands, yeah. Million. From reservations. From unsuspecting client payments bookings. through bookings from her company. It's a her. It's a her. her. Damn. Yeah, it's Indian. Tazneem. Tazneem sounds like it's actually, it's a female. Ta- yeah, yeah, Musa, definitely Indian. Tazneem's victims have now been encouraged to lay charges of fraud with the police so that the Hawks can pursue the matter. I believe her. Mm. You believe you her? Believe yeah, her. no, I believe her. That she was actually running a legit business and... She just lost a SIM card. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What do you believe about and her, bro? And People are crying book. that she ran with her money. No. <laughs> with and their you money. believe her? <laughs> you believe her? No, I believe what? her. And and you forgot your book. The holidays. Yeah, I, I you believe must just gallibly believe her. Yes, yes, I believe her. Ah, I, I believe you. <laughs> I believe with her. I get it. Yes, just believe her. You with me? You with I'm me? I'm with you, yeah, dog. I'm <laughs> with you, bro. I'm with you. Just believe her. Just believe it, dog. How what? wild? That is wild. Crazy. That's wild, bro. Ugh. So, but you got scammed once with the trip, ne? Did you not? With a trip? Yeah. Mm-mm, no. How do you get scammed like this, though? No. So what I'm happens? Sure what, what 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 happens? You get taken on a trip. So you book for the trip. <laughs> you pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. You know what? Now I'm with you. Like I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> Just, you get taken on for a trip, but you don't go on it one, hey? Yeah, 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 you get taken on a trip, like, on an imaginary trip. <laughs> no, I was trying to understand how it works. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's cool. Yeah, how does it work? No, just tell people that, hey, we're going to Dubai um, four nights. You're going to be... Okay, I don't know Dubai. We're going to... Uh, 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 not for slow, no, no, no. <laughs> New York. New York, New York. Yeah. There's an event happening at Madison Garden Square. You're gonna be there, and then the you're gonna go through Times Square, and then there is uh, the play Broadway. Yeah. There's a Broadway happening. You're gonna go see that. You're gonna then go um, and see a Yankees game. The Yankees that sure. weekend are gonna be playing. Sure. You know, at the at, at the Diamond, and then you're gonna go to all the attractions, or you're gonna go to see. You're gonna go to the Nando's okay. in, in in Brooklyn. You know I, what I mean? I think oh, we get it, yeah? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. I was trying to show that it's not only force load. It's not only force load that I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm missing all the places. You know, like yeah, you're gonna go here, you know there, you know? Huh? Uh, just because she's been to Thailand and shit, you know? <laughs> That's where a ghost lady. I almost said your name. Yeah, so. You pay forty thousand for that. It's gonna happen over three days, and people will never get to go. Whoa! Let's sell trip packages, which is huge. People like traveling is huge among. So people. you'll never know if it's legit until you actually go. Well, yeah, but you, there's always ways, bro. Of like searching, you know. Ish, but is it? Because people post on Instagram, they don't tag the travel agent and whatnot. It's it's tricky, bro. It's Ghost tricky. lady, you you know this. You've booked before. How does it work? I have booked, but obviously I go to like the legit, like agencies. How do you know agencies. it's legit? Yes. Yeah, no, but the trusted ones. You know the trusted ones. Oh, the no, trusted no, ones. Yeah, okay. like nothing, just brand new. Like Travel, you actually check uh, uh, uh. and you see yes. if you follow them, and you see like actually people who go back and just share their reviews and you know all of that. So yeah. that's that's fine. Yeah. I know once where it's like your timeshare, we almost got scammed in that one. Yeah. Like signing up for timeshare because those now promise you. And the things that What's timeshare? Like, timeshare is like, basically it's like you, you own portion of, like a portion of the, whether it's a lodge or some, let's say Sun City, they'll sh- sell you the timeshares. Like you, you can go there anytime, but you pay a monthly fee. I think so. You pay a monthly fee. You use your credit card and all of that. I'm not with. You. I, what I'm are you not, bro. I'm like, not with you. I know time I share where you spend two hours <laughs> with your dad a week. <laughs> you know, like, a time timer, share, like, no. Yeah. Time shares. Time shares. Heard of it. Time shares. <laughs> How does I break it down? Like, but I believe you. <laughs> no, no, believe me. I, yeah, I, believe I believe her. I believe her. <laughs> I believe her. Okay, believe let, me her. Extra, let me try and explain it from yeah, how does explain it to you. Break it down for the kids, you know. Okay. Imagine you're talking to your son. Like okay. five-year-old. Yes, yeah, your oh, son. Okay. 
all right, timeshares, it gives you opportunities to travel, go on holidays. Yes. But because sometimes you can't afford yes. to just put the 50,000 rent, yes. now rather you pay 5,000 rent every month. And so it's then, a stock fair. So Kazat, a, we're casating for yeah, oh. Because there is like a location, there's, these, there's a hotel. Then after you've maybe paid, I think, let's say after a year, then you're able to travel and go to that specific place. I got place. you. I'm with uh-huh. you now. So book however how long. Mm. So those are the timeshares. I think that's how they work. Someone mm. who's actually been in there will probably explain even better. Mm. Yeah, but then oh, it will you've happen. never done time. You can afford your own trip. No, but you just save up. It's just you know. Oh, kazat, and you just every month debit order to save up for the yeah, trip. Yeah, but then now what happens is that these people end up never going to on these trips and, and being unable to actually even book those places. Sure. You find that they are constantly booked out. You can't even. So it's like you've paid this whole year. Credit card bills mounted up, but mm. don't know. Mm. you've got no trip. Yeah, that's what I know about timeshares. Okay. So when, like, especially let's say I think I, I remember when we were in Durban. That's where a lot of you know they'll be probably by the ocean. Someone just comes to you, and like, oh, we want to introduce you a timeshare. Let's go to our offices. They are just here around oh, the yes. corner. Those I've, ones. I've, yes, I've been approached. Yes, yes, in Durban by the beach. In Durban, and you a, go to some dingy flat upstairs. It wasn't dingy. Maybe it was, it was very Tasman nice. Musa. Eh? Maybe, Maybe it was, was Tasmania. You in Durban? <laughs> <laughs> Musa, yes, yes. Oh yes, uh-huh. I'm, yes. I remember that. Yes. So oh, I remember that's time, time share. That's what I remember. Hours when we were approached, and then I remember. I think like a couple of weeks back, they were having some episode on La Carte Blanche. People mm. were complaining about these timeshares and all of this. And so those are scams. Yeah, those are scams, guys. <laughs> like a but lot now, of people have just never succeeded through. To the point that she missed over. It said, well, how, many, how many? 100 million. 100 million. Yeah, yeah, credit cards now. And people, you obviously used to be like, you'd be encouraged to use your credit card. Yes. It's fine. And they rock you. Yeah, they rock you. <laughs> now you're spending like 3K, 5K, whatever debits are just going. <laughs> and you can't cancel because sometimes it's even hard to. It becomes just a mission. Like you are tied for life. The contracts there are. Tied you can't even get out of that contract. There's contracts. Yeah. It's very. How are you tied for life if you're gonna travel to a weekend away in a like in? But they sell some this thing like a, as if you are, you own a portion, like you're also now a shareholder. Oh, tanche, tanche. Yeah, you're a shareholder of Sun City. Yeah. Somewhere, in, like somewhere in your mind, you feel like, oh, you know. Hey, that's like wild, I'm part man. of. Hey, these scammers! Hey, man, there's so many scammers out there, bro. Scammers in all shapes and forms. Bro, hey. Mm-mm. I'm with you, I know. <laughs> inside yeah. joke, guys. Inside yeah, joke. Mac and I just got scammed. Like, yeah. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I haven't been with you today. Like. <laughs> we got scammed yesterday. Spent the whole day trying to forget about it. Drinking myself to a pulp. You know, like, ish. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Do I have to go with you guys everywhere? Yeah, because in Cape Town we got scammed. <laughs> Remember when we got scammed? And oh, then, and then, and then, and then, and then we booked like, hotel rooms for 2.5 each. And I had a nice hotel room for like 400 rands. Yes, and yes, some, yes. Please go with us everywhere. Yeah, whenever we know that. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. She is south. That just goes south fast. <laughs> yeah, hey, dog. And we're about to chat to our friend of the show. Dope. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, yeah. Fiesta, Fiesta Black. Time. Yeah, Fiesta Black is in the building. Mm. Fiesta Black. Kezo. Who's Fiesta Black? Fiesta Ah, Fiesta. She, she, she gupu chibango. Oh, that's what that. Can you any song? Yeah. She yeah, gupu yeah. Ching, She's going to be ching, in the ching, building. Ching, ching. Anything else you want to talk about, Ghost Lady? Um, That's it, guys. Yeah. What else did we. The Zola, guys. Oh, Zola. Hey, Luzo, Luzo, Zola Ibo, bro. Yes. Ibo. Yes. It's nice to see people showing him love, man. Finally. Finally. They're a year late. Because we've been giving him his flowers. Yeah, bro. Mm. Hey, Zola. But mm. I'm, I'm, I was happy to see him, like, actually come and also just accept and come out. Because yeah. I think before, it, this thing happened where people do, did speak about Zola and him not being well. But I think his team last year said, no, he's fine. Remember? Yes. They yes. kind of, like, denied. And it was like, okay, just brushed under the carpet. But this time... Because even when we when we did the interview, uh, uh, remember we did say on yeah. the episode, like, he wasn't looking too great. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we did that whole nationwide stay clinical thing. We've never done that for anybody else, eh? Just all of us. Nah, just was all bro. He's yeah. a legend, bro. Legend, bro. Legend. And I saw a lot of the things we're talking about. Like people like he's not well. So his team eventually said he's not well. Did he make a statement and stuff? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Like he well, he did say thank you. I just saw the thank you after Mam Kize was, you know. Yes, because we got the thing is like between 
the time we recorded the last show, and now only after we recorded did we get a lot of like uh, inboxes, people like, "Yo, Zola, Zola is in need, whatever." And yeah. obviously, we've got a close, you know, relationship because of that interview. And but I think and we're, we're gonna, gonna help open now. a GoFund page. Are before, they opening it? No, we're gonna remember. Yeah, we so yeah, we we're talking about it. Yeah, before he put up the bank. Yeah, but details. now he shared his own bank. Yeah, details. before that, yeah. we we're, were thinking of starting a GoFund. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's what I was for me. It was like I'd wish he, the, his team or himself must bring show us like, or at least just share a banking details so that money goes straight to him. At least let him receive it. And because now the hoo ha is everyone else but not him. You know. What did you think about Mum Kize going there and? Doing a whole PR thing. Yeah, but it's yeah, it became also an extra. It was just so Mamkiza style. Yes, it's, it's her, this it was, style, right? It's like whole giving players mm. the envelope envelopes uh, after the game, yeah. right? It's like, hey, we're helping you out. Well, we're not. We're, we're giving you this amount of cash. Everybody needs. Did they to give see him it. the car? But no, no, I don't think they were giving him. That. They would have made sure we see the keys, <laughs> hand over keys. Yeah, Mamkiza, keys, remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, I'm with you. I feel so bad. Like it's like, hey, fuck. What's who have I been absent today? What's no, man, no, oh. man. Don't feel like that. What's, what's wrong with you, dog? Hey, come on, don't no, be like you've that. No, you've gone through a lot. It's okay. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. Wait, there's a car involved. Yeah, so there's a picture uh, or a video where we uh, uh, Zola's driving Mamkiz's uh, Bentley. Is it a Bentley? Yeah, Bentley. They made a sick man drive their Bentley. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why? I don't know. They gave it to him. And no, they no, gave they, it they didn't him. give it to him. He was just driving because he's always wanted to drive a Bentley. Oh. Yeah. What? Oh, why did they record it? Oh, you can't answer that. You don't know why they recorded it. That's weird to me, though. Like, why? But that's yeah. why we're saying it was like a PR stunt. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the. Pi- I only saw the picture, like where it's 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 the the the, 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 the child mm. so all that, and they made him drive. Damn, that's yeah. It wasn't the yeah. They did a whole video. For for like from his angle, I don't I don't mind. You know what I mean? If Uzola Khutmani needs financial help and whatever and they're like yo we can help whatever whatever and they're like oh by the way like you know you want to drive a Bentley we came with one we heard you for us want to drive one drive one just don't think it was supposed to be recorded do you think they said if you don't drive the Bentley we're not giving you the money hmm. yo <laughs> I just like don't if you don't think, I think like, like if, I, if you don't receive the envelopes we're not gonna give you the money yeah, cause he, he looked uncomfortable, dog, and he literally drove then it. Then why from, drive it? He, wow. he literally drove it from here to here. Mm. Out of room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just. Ah, man, no man. He looked uncomfortable even. Nah, like, yo, bro, it's the guy. Like, if I've always wanted to do something and I'm sick, and you're like, we have this thing, you can do it now. Just don't record me, please. They you were know? like, if you want us to drop a bag, you must drop the top. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you're in top. <laughs> so you, you're in all our topless. <laughs> no, oh, man. Oh, oh, man. But I, I, I don't know. That sounds tacky. It sounds tacky. Yeah, That's yeah. Very tacky. Not cool. Yeah, at but, all. But whatever love anybody wants to show him, I think it's fine, man. No matter what they yeah, want to do with yeah. You know, it's yeah, fine. As you long know as what, they, man. they gave him money and whatever, whatever. Yeah, if know? the man is not well and he needs. Is, as long as he's got the assistance, you know yeah. what I mean? And if he still hasn't gotten the assistance, then we'll proceed with, you know, the, the idea we had. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, bro. And lastly, man, I'm, I'm tired of saying this every week, man. Yo, it's too much. What's this? Um, oh, uh, DJ Dimples. Peace, to, peace, yeah, rest in peace yeah. to DJ Dimples, man. He passed away. Uh, what was the cause? I had it here, man. Brain hemorrhage. Brain hemorrhage. Yes, yes. What was that? What is that? Um, It's... Should I Google it? Google it. Um, be, I'm still getting inboxes about Inkabi. So I think it's better we just Google things. Right? <laughs> what are they saying about Inkabi? <laughs> Till now, it's like, hey, bro, my inboxes have been open the whole be- time. I, I got it on Monday. Hey, Inkabi is, is, is a bull that got castrated, meaning its balls removed. Yay. And all the bulls do is the hard labor. Yes. You know oh, what I mean? If they yes. were farming, they're pulling things, or we're moving. 100 years ago, Zulu's moving to take over this place, you know, like, who they just the work, a workhorse, but a cow. Yeah. Or so it's a like pool, the... A pool, not a cow. Cow's female. Yeah. Pool. So it's like the Ansali on Game of Thrones. Ah! 
perfect. Yes. Mm. And solid. Yes. And solid. Yeah. It's, a, it's a pool that's unsullied. Mm. It's just there to work. That unsullied are there to fight. Mm. And that's all they do best is fight. Mm. That's it. And then it became like you're killing someone, you're carrying the heavy load. Yeah. It's like in football, doing the dirty work. The dirty work. You mm. know what I mean? The guys who hard tackles, what? Sure. Yeah. Hence, then it eventually it became in Gabi. Yeah, I, I uh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> they've been saying your name. Like, Nick hey, Gabby. I was talking shit. I was talking shit. Yo, I was talking shit. It's still the same thing. In Gabi, in the in the context of human, of humans. In, yes, in Gabi can be that cow, sure, <laughs> but in Gabi, in the context of humans. Into yes, but now but the into Zulu, uh, yeah, they or, they talking about the origins. The but etymology. We're not, we're not talking about cows here. We're talking so about So it's big humans. Zulu. No, we're not talking about cows. Come on, <laughs> like a case of cheese. <laughs> we're not talking about case of cheese. No, no, pirates. <laughs> <laughs> but the orig- they saying the origins. Everybody knows what it, it has come. To be, you will never call it Kosamen Gabiam, for example. But they're saying the origins, where it started. Sure. Is Big Zulu and Salid? Uh. Agri says he's in Gabi. I'm asking, guys. No! <laughs> <laughs> the origins is an unsullied cow. <laughs> oh, bull. It's, that's a problem. It's just that. Oh, in Gunzi, Kubu, cow. It's just that cow is, is always been, they used to correct me in primary school. Like, no, it's not a bull, not cow. A bull that has been castrated. Yeah, what? So, Big Zulu, when he says Inkabi, he's referring to the term we now know for. Oh, the, the one, the one. He's not referring to himself as an Ansali. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Back I got the Google. I got the, 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 the brain meaning. Hemorrhage. Yeah. yeah, brain hemorrhage. Oh, brain is hemorrhage. bleeding in the, the brain, brain can happen because of an accident, brain tumor, stroke, or high blood pressure mm. caused by congenital or other health conditions. Brain bleed can reduce oxygen delivery to the brain, mm. create extra pressure in the brain, and kill brain cells. Damn. Yeah. So that's what happened to Dimples, man. Yeah, yeah. it was at a gig in Forslo. Um, one, the, 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 my guy was there, DJ Nep, who had booked him. Yeah, like he had a problem. He was not feeling well, he was feeling weak. And at this point, cried and then obviously collapsed, took him to the hospital, never made it. Hmm. Oh, man, what a great guy, bro. Yeah. I so. never had a lot of interaction for with real. Him, but sweet guy, like genuinely, like his energy, you can just feel it. You know, chilled guy. He had the uh, blackies uh, vibe, blackies energy. Like he yes. was quiet, quiet, did his thing. Yes. Yeah, didn't bother like, nobody. I felt bad, bro. Like you know, I went to his when when I I heard when it was still unsure yeah, when yeah, celebrities yeah, 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 were still yeah, yeah. posting yeah. broken hearts. Yeah, yeah. But someone told that way me that you broke. You also posted broken hearts. No, I was sure then. But before I posted the broken hearts, and then I go to his Instagram, and it, you know Instagram says follow back. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I wasn't following Dimples. You know? Yeah. And I feel bad. I'm not do I follow, but I can't follow. Hmm. But if I do, he won't. You know, because no longer. Yeah. But it's so crazy when you see someone's like stories. Oh, like yeah. Before and it's like, dude, you were alive less than 24 hours ago. Yes. Those things live online for 24 hours. It's like, bro, you were alive, and it was. Watching cows pass by on the road and was recording them for real, yeah. You're yeah. not making that up, no, not whoa. Did, did that's you, crazy. Did, did you temples like one of his last stories was like watching cows or somewhere, cars just sprayed or somewhere. Wow. I don't know where mm. I'm assuming the east because he had a club or mm. a venue in the in a spray to cut long. And it was like cows just passing, and then obviously turned the camera back on him or just switched the camera to, yeah. And I'm like. Such a simple human post. Yeah. Mm. And he didn't know it's his last post. Hey, no one dude. ever knows yeah, his last post yeah. unless... I got some advice from uh, from a friend of mine. He's like, in life, you must fuck shit up. Like, don't care what anybody says mm. about you. Because when you die, everyone says he was a great guy. Yeah, but fucking shit up does not mean you must do stupid shit. You must fuck shit up in the way you believe in fucking shit up. If you're a footballer, play your heart out on your last game. If you just... Do as you please. It doesn't mean just be irresponsible. Just do your best and everything. Yeah, because I mean, how many people have you said, no, he was a shit person after they passed away? We all say he was a great guy. Eh? Oh, no. No, I will say, bro. You'd say? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, I'll say, bro. But he was a shit person. 
Yeah, if for I interacted real? with him. Yeah, for real. Yeah. After they passed away. Yeah. Yo. You are who you are. And you know that like, some ancestors, a lot of people think like people died to become saints. No. If you're a shit person, it's your spirit. It's, your, it's who you are. It's your essence. You'll be a shit person even in the afterworld. Who died that was whoever. a shit person? Uh, not anyone I know personally. Mm. Like, I'm, and I'm being genuine. Like, if there's a someone, a family member who I'm like, that's what I've always told. Like, you're, you are who you are, bro. Sure. You are. So you think someone who raped kids, killed grandfathers, raped grandmothers, dies, is going to become a good ancestor to I, someone out there? I don't know about that, but I know at the funeral they're going to say he was a great guy. No, they won't. Oh, bro, they do. How many if, funerals have you been to? How many shitty Pearson's oh, funerals okay. have you been to? Quite a few. Oh. Okay, yeah. what was the shitty, what did they do on earth and what did they say at the funeral? Like, shitty person. Like, shitty person. He was a great father, he was a great brother. The usual, bro. I Nobody th- says, ah, he was a shit person. I think they tried. Good evidence. No one says that. <laughs> <laughs> no one. Am I lying, are you? <laughs> no yeah, one, if bro. people said at your funeral, you were really a <laughs> fucked up person. I think people just choose to focus on the best of you. Yay. At funeral. Yay. Like, you could be a rich guy who was arrogant, treated a woman like property mm. and looked down on anybody, everybody else. They'll just focus on, on, on the good. 100%. He supported the family. Yes. He did well for himself. 100%. He, you're right, though. Yeah. I get that. But, yeah, you should people to become shit ancestors. Yeah. Generally. But a lot of times we lie and say, we focus on the good. Yeah. Because I mean, if, I, if I go to Mo Flavors funeral, I'm going to say he was a great guy. As opposed to, <laughs> as opposed to. Continue. Yeah, he was a oh, great yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm out. How was his show? Mike. How was his radio? <laughs> great, great. Everything was great. Ah, and oh, man. Hmm? Come, come on, say, say what you want to say. Yeah, no, actually, at the funeral. Actually, no, <laughs> I, I can't say what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> be be the, the, the one to change the notion, you know. <laughs> Speak your mind. <laughs> While the person is alive. Yeah, speak your mind. That's why you have this podcast. Come on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm saying Express funeral, I, yourself. I, I can't say that. I can say Everybody. that on the podcast, but not at a funeral. Oh. <laughs> I can't say that at his funeral. Are you mad? True. There's his kids. There's yes. Yeah, I think that that's what gets in the way, that there's loved ones. I can't say I'm glad there's no flavor anymore. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Wow. I'm busy rocking the girls, he's rocking the grave. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Imagine is, I say that. It is personal. I just want to person out. That's why. It's almost too much. Yo. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he proves the point that you, we can't be honest. You but can't. what if you're also a shitty person to him? Yeah, do you think he's going to say that at my funeral? Yeah. yeah. He's going to be, he was my favorite podcaster. Good I point, love though. that podcast. Remember that one time when we're in Joseph's show and he sneaked up in the comments and we saw his name? Now he's a chiller. He's a chiller. He's a chiller. <laughs> yeah, I'm always a chiller. He was like, but I think he knew that we were there and we were watching. The, no, you know, I don't think he knew think that his, his name would come up. up. That's his way of reaching out. <laughs> Dog, think about it. And then Joseph's like, yo, shout out to more flavor. <laughs> Nah, think about it. <laughs> and Rick, then we all ignored it. We continued. Wow. <laughs> think about it. Ricky, Ricky. No oh, man. Or had Casper as a surprise guest at the Cotton Fest. I think maybe that was his way of reaching out. Cause he look, George was talking to us, right? Yeah. We were on George's show. Uh, and after Chillers. And, and yeah. yeah, after Chillers. And Mo commented. Yeah, that's probably his way of saying I like your shit. I watch it, and as a broadcaster, I give you a flowers. Whatever happened between the two of us is whatever. But how yeah. would you how would you react if he called you and said, "Hey, be a surprise guest at my birthday party"? Fuck him. Or not even. Fuck what if he, is it that what if he bad, dog? You? Fuck him, dog. Is it that bad? Honestly, he can eat a dick, dog. No. Okay. What Honestly, if, what if he calls real? you and yeah. says, "I'm sorry"? Huh? If he calls you and you say, "I'm sorry." Oh yes. Oh, issues, you know, that's a tricky one. Why? Like, remember the guy who came with us today? He said he's sorry, and I forgave him. Genuinely did, because that's what I was waiting for. What well, about I, the scam? I, don't, I, don't, I don't hold uh, grudges. <laughs> we can't tell the scam. <laughs> we signed non-disclosure forms. <laughs> Fuck. We signed non... Not 
The scammer did not make a sign on this course of form. The scammer promised us something. Hey, dog, we're taking that shit to the grave, dog. <laughs> we're taking it to the grave, dog. It's going to be mission impossible. It's going to be mission impossible, but we're taking oh, it to the grave. Oh, shit. <laughs> but we're taking it to the grave. We'll never talk <laughs> about <laughs> it. No, we'll, no, we'll, that's not live, bro. We'll, we'll talk about it. One day when we're rich and, you know, fuck, fuck the world, we're angry and old. And you know how old people just are honest, like eight one hour movie, like your child. You, we'll, well, then we'll tell the story. Yeah. Not not now. We're not ready. You guys are acting right now. Saul is not you. Hey, you're cruising with this pants. Saul is not here with us today. But this one, this <laughs> smart one is cruising with us today. Yeah. Oh man, we out of here. Anything else? I'm yeah, my party's out? coming up. Cancel, so, cancel, 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 cancel. My birthday party. Is it's a tour because so many provinces want this thing. It's We're a tour? Pro- it's a tour. Wow. You want to come? Yes. There's one in Newcastle Brewing, but before that one, on the 25th of this month, Friday, with propaganda. propaganda. Oh, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, my dog! Are you I've never it? seen uh, Bootle perform, so I can't wait. I wanna, <laughs> it's my first time. <laughs> Bukia is going to be there. Oh, I can't wait. Lady Doos there. Dogs in is there. Nando. Wow, wow, wow. The make of, uh, 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 you know, he made John Wick. Not them Tudor. Hey. Ooh. Hey. There's a story. Let's keep him up fight. Hey. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Like in Dogs in, we can bring him here. He made John Wick. Wow. Not I don't Tudor. know what. It's John Tudor's song. Yeah. But I don't know what happened. Wild. Mm. Wild. Yeah, they used to work together. I don't know what happened. Cool, cool. But that's the story. Yeah. Um, Buke is there. Uh, thing you are, you are there, bro. Of course, of course. Yeah, he made him. Are you gonna made, be playing? Uh, um, huh? Are you gonna be playing? No, yeah. it's his birthday. It's your birthday, so no, you don't it's my play. It's birthday. Can't play, can't Everybody no, no, plays. I just thought that applied. If to the crowd goes, so I'll play, so I'll play, I'll play. Okay. But it's my birthday, you know. Okay. You're not supposed to be playing. Yeah. Cool. Suppose it's your birthday. You receive the love. So yes. I is there. Casual. Heavy K is there. Casual. <laughs> Let it do that. I mentioned it. Do yes, that's a canyon. Who's there? Hey, Kesha, dope. Sapta is there? Hey, Sapta, <laughs> yeah, hey. my nigga. Cool. Hey. Yeah, bro, it's a crazy, it's a wild lineup. Fantas DJ is there as well. Donald is there. Shout out to Donald. He just dropped the song, I'm in love. That yeah, song, yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 I'm in yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. Just like had a worldwide debut yeah, now with Apple oh, Music yeah, on the Dotty yeah, Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check that out. Nasty C had a thing there. Black here, there, a world premiere there as well. Dope. Shout out to him. That's the song I said it's going to be big. Yeah. It's going to be huge. Yeah. And then, there's more. Someone inboxed me. Yeah. One of the big artists, yeah. uh, Piano. <laughs> Vocalists, lyricist is like, yo, he demo- he told me that I'm your surprise guest. Mm-hmm. So I was like, no problem. You're my surprise guest. Olin Fega is the host. Robot Boy is the host. Yeah. It's going to be wild, but we've got a major surprise guest. Is it more flavor? Is more flavor a piano <laughs> vocalist? Oh, piano yeah, vocalist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Knowing him, you'd make us play back to back. No, 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 I'd never do that. I'd never put you. Like, you feel strongly about him. I'd never put you back, man. Like, uh, like put that on you. I'd never, bro. So, shout out, bro. Uh, come through. Ticket ah, on Howler. Yeah. Pre souls are almost sold out. Whoa. Yeah, pre souls were like 50 rands. Bro, we're rocking, oh, wow. bro. They're almost sold ah, out. Let's rock. Let's rock. Let's rock. So, after they sold out, 100 bucks to get in. 150 VIP, 200 at the door VIP. It's easy propaganda we on dog propaganda is in my hood so I'm definitely there hey yo if you wanna see ghost lady come to propaganda on the 25th of March yes yes who ghosty roasty oh fuck I forgot uh, this Sunday at Pulukwani Tebuko Tebujani is gonna be there ooh Tebuko is there yes I'm definitely coming bro yeah 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 yeah. well you (laughs) you don't have a choice oh I'm playing (laughs) (laughs) you booked (laughs) yeah cause I tried to book her you know she was in uh, in, in Kenya and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> that was funny. Did like. you see what's up, Nairobi? Did you see Prince KB's WhatsApp <laughs> status? <laughs> What did he say? You don't know Prince Gabe's number? Eh? <laughs> no, I've got it, but I didn't see the status. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so survived, did he? <laughs> Prince Cape, I love you, Cabello, bro, but hey, this is funny, man. I gotta share this. So you remember there's that, um, there was that 
a picture of him, right? Yeah. With his big dick, like, on all over social media. Yes, yes. And then he posts... Yo, just put the screenshot on ne, of, of, of his status. Oh, I've been getting a lot of nudes since that scandal. But over the weekend in Kenya, yes. a man sent a shiny asshole <laughs> video playing with it. Caption reads, you can fuck me all night in these Nairobi streets. <laughs> the, man said, this, the, the man said, I want the big dick inside my asshole. <laughs> fuck me all night in these Nairobi streets. <laughs> Crazy, so I inbox. I'm like, what the fuck, dog? He's like, yeah. Some nigga named Robbie inbox me, and he's like, please, I want you to marry Robbie. <laughs> 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 Are you with me? I'm with you. <laughs> 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 I, uh, no, we are. We done. Prince, I'm sorry, Camilo, but that's hilarious shit, dog. No, man. No, we done. Did you see that, dude? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome <laughs> yes. our friend of the show, Fiesta Black. <laughs> are, are you Tosa? I mean, uh, Tonga. You move baby. So what does uh, chi, chi, Chigubu Chibang, the song you did with Chibangu. Kanye? Chibangu. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? Chigubu is a drum. Like oh, it's moro, cool. moro ba, um, cool. yeah, and shikom shibango for means it hits hard, like uh-huh. siabet, like it hits. Oh, so what's the song about the, the drum? The song is about a lot, a lot of nothing and a lot of everything. Yes. Yeah. Explain yeah, what man. you mean by that. Like that song is so weird, dude. I I don't know how to break down that song. What do you know? What do you want to know about that song? Uh, just what it means. Let's start there. Um, what did it mean for you? Yeah, yeah. Like well, you heard the beat and you were like, "I'm." I'm gonna say Chukupu Chibongo. Like what was the thought process? Because it's catchy, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey. And you know what's funny about that song? Oh, what, what, what it is about that song? Uh, I wrote it when I was like 19, when I was still in high school. Oh wow! Oh. Oh. I'm 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 old enough for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm 32. I'm 32. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Damn, that's so <laughs> ten, ten years ago. You <laughs> lie. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Has it been that long? Yeah. It's been that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been that long. So, so did Ganyani hit you up for that song? What happened? No, I I I was working with UTV. Yeah. Uh, I had a friend called TV, a mutual friend that I had met Vele through the journey. You know, if you want to do music, you're not just going to wake up one day and you're doing music. For sure. You're going to have to go through certain platforms and you're going to have to meet different people. And it's, it's just a journey on its own. You're going to have to sleep in dodgy studios. You did that? Of course. Sleep in dodgy studios? Of course. As so a fun. lady. Of no one course. touched you in the studio. They wanted to. <laughs> No one yeah. touched you in the studio. Yeah, <laughs> they, they wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I touched two. Yeah. That's, 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 that was all. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. Yeah. Did you touch Ganyani's studio? I put a boy in Ganyani's studio and he didn't like that. Whoa, what do you mean? Wait, Hi, break bro. that down. Hi. Whoa. You put a boy. Guys, I got into so much. Katlatela, Katlatela. Where are we at with this interview, guys? Everything is moving so fast. They were rocking you in Ganyani studio. Kaiwani! <laughs> <laughs> oh, not. <laughs> <laughs> they were beating your drum. For real. Yeah, but it was my guy. It was my guy. But I'm not going to mention his name. Yeah. Because oh, I get, famous. He, I get quite relevant. Hey. And I, oh. he, he's never been to the podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah, I am here. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And he will never get here. Hey, what do they call it in English? You got the liver, eh? Yeah. 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 So did he find out? It was so awkward. Yeah. Do you want to hear the story? Yeah, let's hear. 
So we go to, I think it was Botswana or Namibia or Malawi or ten, because I traveled a lot with Ganyani, right? Mm. Nothing sexual at all. He was always a very, he was a father figure from day one. So some asshole in the studio decided to tell Ganyani that when he was not around, I had a boy coming over. So I remember we went to, I think it was Botswana, one of the few. And then he was so professional to a point where we went and we performed. Everything was fine. Yeah. On the way back at the airport, he's like, Nagambe. I'm like, Master, are you? You call him Master? Yeah, Master G. Give Master G. Oh, yes. Oh. KG. I'm thinking Master KG. Oh, you think like a master? Like, oh. I worship you. Master G. You should watch your Master G. Ganyani. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. No, he's a hot man, of course. He's a I didn't god. Know. No, he he dropped like albums when I thought I was still dropping <laughs> music. <laughs> <laughs> when I thought I was dropping oi 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 oi, <laughs> yeah, he was dropping compilations. And that's he's when I was downloading music and looking like I wanna do this one day. Ah, yeah. yeah. So you're on the way back, yes. And then we're at the airport, and he's like, "Maro how do I dress on? I can't get a master. Maro naga dulu. I go naro. Oh, can you find a good studio? Can you find a thing? I'm on Shagala Gama." Because Debs is obviously the one that ratted me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I must have been. Yeah. yeah. And then that was it. Yeah, that was it. Jeez, what a boring story, man. I ah, thought like, you were going to say, I'm going to keep this in the pod. I'm so bored. And how are you, Ganyani, now? How are you guys doing? Yeah, man. We good. Mm. We good. Uh, we fine. Uh, I, we, we, we not the way that I, 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 I want us to be. But we just where we at, you know? And I think it's fine. That's okay. Yeah, what, did you guys go through some turbulence? Yeah, what way do you want to be with him? What happened? Dude. That you don't, you're not the way you, you want to be with him. I, 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 if I, if I go there with this, I haven't, I haven't made the money that I feel like I should have made from Shugubu. Because that's know? a big song. Shugubu Shango. My nigga, Shugubu was trending two weeks ago on TikTok. Whoa. Whoa. And, 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 and this, Shit. Is, this is like 10 years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And... I think the the main reason, one of the reasons I'm here right now is I saw the shit trending like 10 years later, two weeks ago, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> You're not trending. And, I, and I'm sitting at home, and I'm like, hey, maybe I'm still that girl, you know? Mm. Mm. You stay in the cuckoo? Yeah. Oh, that's a... Uh a uh, figure of speech. No, because was wrong. No, you literally say them cuckoo. Get look orange fam. No way, it's fiesta. No way, fiesta no way. black. You Am I that shirt? hot? Am I that? Yes. Rona. Shakes are very hot though. So. <laughs> no, guys. Orange fam. <laughs> orange fam. I was born in a Wait, for real? No, like, on, 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 on for real. Like, for real, for real. Um, get look at my mother, okay? And I didn't think that was going to be the reason why I'm here to talk about all of this. What did you want to talk about? Anything that you want to talk about. That's what yeah, we want to talk about. We want to talk about your journey. You had a massive hit song. But and you guys you, are not asking you... me questions. I feel like I'm just running my mouth like I do all the time. And I'm just talking that's and talking. That's fine. That's fine. Like that's that. your story. Yeah. You are letting your story out. Like if you thought maybe we want to talk and then nothing about you, real stuff comes out. You just told us some something real that alarmed all of us. Like, on his fam. Fiesta. Say, yeah, that's your story. That's that's your truth. You're not really. And we're a part but how of do you the guys truth. find that so, like, why are you guys alarmed by something like that? Like, I I haven't released the music. When was the last time you heard of me performing at an event or something like that? True. So you why haven't. why are you alarmed that you like Orange Farm? Because obviously I'm not relevant. I'm not making money. I stay in Hillbro. So I'm not alarmed that you in Orange Farm. Hillbro, go guy. On Pretoria Street, the, the the only street I feel safe in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie. Pretoria Street. Like, look, I stand on top of the McDonald's. The only place where I feel comfortable in. I don't need to go too far. There's food upstairs. Food upstairs. Because when they come for you, they have to start at the McDonald's first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then about the back of So it's not about where you stay. It's about like you had a massive song and naturally we all natural, think the trajectory and also. Not that you, you would have made millions from that song, yeah. but you would have made enough. Well, at least one meter, yeah, mm. One meter would, would have been enough. Almost gigs alone, like five, half a million. Yeah. And that's that's just underestimating, like yeah. the gigs, and you know, because you can get can charge twenty k for gigs and get four gigs a weekend mm. when you're hot, and that's how many gigs a month. You know what I mean? Like, and 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 push you to just get a. A 
house nya and you know when so it's not about where you stay it's about how much you've done and where you stay yeah. you know it doesn't make sense yeah I'm curious when, to know the also, sorry. Sorry. Just to, then what kind of contract did you have then? That's the thing. I had a contract that I don't even understand up until oh, today. Oh, not again. Wow. Oh, oh, are we back here? No, guys, it's not contract. back to that. Don't forget. This is no, no, no. 10 years ago. Oh, true though. Oh, yes, it's yes. just like, yes, true. This there is wasn't 10 years podcasts, ago. This information wasn't really out there. Out yeah, there. Yeah. I just burped in the mic. Sorry. No, it's fine. We're content, like, yeah. We burp all the time. This is ten years tomorrow. ago, guys, and you know the one the the one moment in particular where I feel like I should have, I don't know, maybe caused a scene, was when we were literally in the boardroom and talking about splits, and 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 who gets what, and who 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 gets what percentage, who's the author, and who's the. I feel like that moment in particular is one that was very crucial for me that I knew nothing about because in that moment is when I signed away everything. Mm-mm. Yeah, that was the meeting. Where was this meeting? Which boardroom is this? It was a boardroom, a very big boardroom. At Kanyani's, Kanyani's or a big major? A no. major. Okay. A major. That you, you know, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so what did so you sign? What did you sign? How I, old were you I, at the time? I, I was 20. I was 22. Okay. Okay. I was 22. And at the time, I didn't know that as an author, when you write the song, you are entitled to 50%. Because I wrote that song on my own. Literally, because the, there's mm. two makeups of a song. The lyrics, the beat, and that's composer 50, 50. exactly. He's a big. I has a big like. <laughs> he's music <laughs> publishing, so he knows. Yeah. You, if there's two people in a song, it's two elements. If I could lyrics, rewind to that beat, day, 50, 50. if I could rewind to that day and have someone next to me who 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 understands what the fuck I'm getting myself into, and someone who could have spoken knowledge and taught me better and shown me better, I wouldn't be. I think I'd still be here, but I wouldn't be where I am. But isn't that person Master G? Who was in the room? Yes. Who was in the room when you... you in that boardroom? Hey, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. No, guys, I'm not going to talk too much. Ah, We're a podcast. <laughs> God, we speak so much about <laughs> it. Now my big mouth has gotten me into trouble. Okay, Fiesta Black, I'm confused. Yeah. You, you said you want to come on the show. Yes. You got lots to talk about. Now you say you don't want to talk about anything. But What's then, going but on? But you're asking me, like, who was there and what was happening? Who? Like, okay. What do you, you want to talk about? The mic is yours. The mic is yours. What do you want to talk about? So you're in the boardroom, tell us. Like, what do you want to talk about? Okay, so I just want to talk about, guys, I've got new music coming. <laughs> oh, Why did everyone switch off? What? Yes, because people want to know. Listen, people want to know what happened to you. You said you want to tell people what happened to you, what happened. Okay, guys. And that no okay, one else okay, okay, you okay, okay, sharp, okay, But sharp. we're trying to build the ground, the basis of that okay, story. Okay, sharp. Okay, sharp. No feelings are tasty. And let's go to But what happened was in the boardroom, no? In the bo- <laughs> okay, in the boardroom. Like, uh, in yes. the boardroom, the producer betra- uh, betrayed me. Who produced that song? TB, my my, my TB Sintwani, TB, 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 and he's such an amazing producer. It's, but I'm okay. I'm saying TB because he's lost all respect from me personally. Okay, so he was in the room. The white guy from the major was in the room. Who else was in the room? Mm, I don't remember if Kanyani was there or not. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember for sure. For sure. For sure. I don't want to lie. And then you signed. Uh, he he took the whole song, hundred percent. He took. He shared something with DB. He who who's he? Kanyani. Or who? Okay. Oh, so Kanyani was there. Yeah. Fine. Kanyani and has Kanyani has a cut from go go, go, go the writing and go the producing. Okay. Did Kanyani write any of the music? No. Oh, but he's got a song on the right. Even DB didn't write anything. I wrote everything. Yeah, has mm. DB. <laughs> <laughs> he will not written anything. Oh, I love this response. <laughs> we'll just get it right. I <laughs> did. <laughs> Okay. Yes. okay, so yeah, man. After that, hey, <laughs> a lot happened. What do you want to do? Oh, my so, how much percentage? <laughs> so, the, the biggest song of your career, how much did you get? I'm sitting on like I think 30, 32% for, for the author. Now, my worry, my biggest cry is the fact that I shared that 
Why am I sharing that? I wrote that song alone. So for the authorship, you got... Cause 33%. Yes. Meaning that's 33% of the 50%. Yes. The, the, the music is 50%. The, the composer, authorship. I have nothing to do with that, I, I think. So you got 30% of 50%. Exactly. 50% that I'm entitled to. Yes. Fully. So you got 30% of half of what you need to get. What? No. As an author. I'm very so, slow. It's fine. Don't worry. I know. You haven't reached music in... You're very slow. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying... I'm <laughs> saying... An author. I Correct me if I'm wrong. An author gets... <laughs> no. You've, you've said it. Why are you chuckling? Why are you chuckling? <laughs> Don't ch- an author gets 50% yeah. of the song. Yeah. Composer gets fifty percent. Fifty percent. Your thirty percent was a thirty percent of the song, or thirty percent of, of the, the author part, which is thirty percent of the fifty percent. Is what I'm asking. I, I can say it's it's thirty percent of the song because the song is like a hundred percent when you put it all together. Yes. But then I'm entitled to thirty percent, fifty percent of the song. I got thirty percent of the song. I'm entitled to fifty percent of the song as the author, but I only got thirty. Oh, oh I, get, I, I get what you mean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of the whole song. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So there's a a a a a eighteen percent shot for author. Yeah, I feel like Ooh, I, I feel like, you know what I feel like Ganyani and DB at the time were supposed to sort they 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 they, 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 they things out prior to to whatever to me getting into studio. I had nothing to do. Like Ganyani does not produce guys. I've said this oh. a hundred times. For, come to me. Ganyani does not produce. He didn't produce that. I, 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 came to okay, him. let me let me say I I, I haven't I have <laughs> didn't come w- from him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you were saying, as sorry. you were saying. Sorry to interject or disrupt you rudely. Sorry, as you were saying. Personally, for none, I've never witnessed Ganyani produce a song. Oh. Ne? <laughs> And he didn't. He definitely didn't produce Shigupu. Oh yeah, you said TB. Yes. Yeah, TB produced the song. TB. So I feel like if they had to like split percentages in terms of production and who composed what, they were supposed to sort each other out. Go that other fifty percent, not mine. Hundred mm, mm, percent. Yes. Mine had nothing to do with them. Mm. So I don't understand. And no, but He's praying for his sins. And God forgives. Mm. And God yes. forgives. Who's that Rema? Yeah, the, 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 guy, the guy who oh, produced look. the song. <laughs> <laughs> Are you following? <laughs> I'm trying. All right. As you were, yes. Yeah, guys. So no, guys. You know what? I'm. I'm I, you know what? I'm talking about this like I'm happy about it, and I'm talking about it, and I'm drunk about it as always. But the Shigubu scenario, it really did. It, it hurt me a lot. Yeah, it's a bigger song, bro. And it's a song that was meant to catapult you into a different level. And with that said, the, 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 the 30% you got, mm. right, it's still a substantial amount of a big song. Mm-hmm. And you did gig. Right, and that gigging is not. It's got nothing. That's to do another with story. Your percentage That's an- your that, that is another story altogether. Because when you're talking you about, mean? so how are you gigging? Like, yeah, because how, how are you called, paid for gigs then? Yes, who got you the gigs, and what was the deal? Were you on a salary? Maybe then you don't get like you, you don't even get a share of the gig each guys, gig. Guys, was it just guys, that guys, you get ten thousand per month? Are you guys gonna edit this or or lang embusha? Can I breathe? No, no, no. We how? we we. We'll edit this. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll what edit. are we going to edit? I'm so We're chatting to, to her about her story. Like, okay. I'm still trying to like process. Okay. And then okay, now process. When you're ready, when you're ready, we'll move on. Like, process when we're ready, we'll okay, move so, on. Okay, so now you want to know about the gigs. No, what, <laughs> listen. What, what I asked, what I'm asking is, it's, it, it's not like, look, what I'm asking is, already we've established that you're ripped off as far as the composition, the, 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 the authorship rights, right? Which is 50% of the song. You got paid 32% of that. How right? does that make you feel when me telling you this? How does that make you feel? Before you ask me another question. That's horrible. It's an injustice. I, I, I just said it now. You got cheated of 18% of your amount. 
That's horrible. Mm. And we've shared our sentiment. I'm asking now that, okay, you got the 30%, sharp. But also what a lot of artists capitalize from is the gigging. How was the gigging income for you mm. when you got the biggest song in the country? Mm. Okay, when, when, when we started out, when I used to gig with Master, right? Because obviously, I we used to gig together before we, we had our our fight. Oh, okay. After the fighting, obviously, I went my separate way and there was no way I was not going to capitalize on that. I understand? Of course. Are you yeah. hearing me? You've built a name, yes. So it's while I was still under Ganyan Entertainment, we, we traveled a lot, right? And I would do like maybe seven gigs a weekend. Like I went to Botswana. Mm. I, I, I would go, like I traveled a lot. I was in Botswana Up until Saturday. this day, I don't recall me having a set booking fee for myself personally, for me, myself and I, where I can say, I gig this much. You feel me? Yeah. Can we get some tissues, man? Because they have tissues. We don't, we don't have tissues. We have tissues here. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, here we go. Thank you, thank you. Baby, I know. Yeah, yeah, just throw it. Nah, like, yeah, bro, it's just tissues, bro. Don't worry. We don't have an issue. Are you okay? A tissue. Yeah. Are you okay? You sure? Do you want to stop? You want to continue? Yeah, can go. Are you sure? You can go. Yeah. Some tissues. Shit, man. Thanks, man. Take your time. Sure, this really hits home, ne? Bro, you can, like... Yo. So, yeah, while I'm in this moment and I'm feeling like this, um, can I just say thank you to my friends, Tay, who made it possible for me to be here today and who paid everything from the makeup to the hair, from getting me from Val to here and Ubering for me. I love you, dog. Must have. Sure. Jesus, man. Okay. Do you need a moment? No, I'm good. Well, take your time. Fuck, I thought I wanted to be here. You don't want to no, be here? No, no, I do want to be here. I thought I was ready. <laughs> You're not ready? I feel I am. I, it's a bit of both. Yeah. Mm, I'm definitely ready, though. So, yeah. Um, right now, <laughs> my friends are like, fix your hair. <laughs> the side. Can we laugh now? Because hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 sh- the sadness, she won't go. <laughs> hey, the, hey, the sadness. Like, we're not used to sad. You yeah, know? it's all. We're all just like, we're not on the the sadness, she won't go. I don't know if I should touch her, hug her. Hey, you know what I mean? Yeah, my instance is just hug, you know, embrace, and we're here. Amen. We're here. It's, it's all good. But listen, it's man. Space. Listen, yeah. listen, you're here, and I think it would be an injustice for you to leave here without uh, telling your story, as painful as it is, you know? Because mm-hmm. there might be another Fiesta Black in Orange Farm somewhere. Yes. And, and I, yes. Think, I think if you don't want to talk about it, I mean, you can always come back. You're more than welcome. It's cool. Yeah. I definitely want to talk about but it. Just, just grab the mic. <laughs> I love the mic. Yeah. I definitely want to talk about it. It's just like, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not good with words, man. I don't know how to talk. I know how to sing. I don't know how to talk. Mm. It's, 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 always, it's always it's been my, 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 I think my, my weakness yeah. or one of my flops, I guess, more life thing. Yeah. Yeah. But what are you feeling? What's making you cry? Your like, truth. Yeah. Um, I mean, what's making me cry is the fact that I'm here, dog. Like, you don't understand. Like, you know, I, I was talking to my, to my mom yesterday and I said to her, you know, lately, ne, I have this thing, like this, 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 like this, can I lay spirit this thing with her when I wanna do something, I don't second guess myself no more. Sure. Mm. Like I literally if I feel like I wanna 
inbox someone and ask for an interview, I, I do it right there and then. And I was telling my mom, I was like, it works for me. It's working for me. I was like, you know? And it's, it's hard for me coming out of that shell because I'm coming from a point where I didn't even want to see people. Whoa. I didn't want to socialize. I didn't want to leave my room. I didn't want to open my curtains. I didn't want to eat. I just, I didn't want to do nothing. And now I'm here and there's like all these lights and cameras and shit. Mm. <laughs> and I'm supposed to carry on and just be normal. It's, it's a bit overwhelming. So pardon me if I break down. No, that's no, fine, man. Yeah. Um, it sounds like you're in a very, very dark place. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yes, that the lights make you cry. Does that dark? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't want to lie. I've, I've, I've met. <laughs> 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 no, like, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that's slow. Like, to me. I no, listen. To me. <laughs> <laughs> to me, like, to me, to me, you made Shivangovu. It's like literally one of the biggest songs if you count down from like the past 15 years, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, contenders of song of the year when it dropped. You know what I mean? So, to me, it's like you should be used to these the lights, the cameras, and everything. It's like you, 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 you're the goose that laid the golden egg. You laid this hit, but was never shone into the spotlight. Like, I know the song is big. Everybody knows the song is big. But to be honest, 100% of the guys that don't know the face of the song. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what I mean by, like, you should have been in the lights as much as it's oak, but you should have been in them a while ago. Mm. Yeah, man. So so with the gigs, how was it? Like, no, what man. was the arrangement? Hey, <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, wait, from yeah. Let right. us speak. He's the interview master. Let Sorry, my bad. I'm the banter guy. You know? Yeah. As you were saying, yes. Yeah. Um. So he wants to know about the the, the gigs. <laughs> no, not the gigs. No, no, no we we're, ask, yeah, we're asking you in a very dark place. Mm. Like, what, what was going on? Oh, was yeah. Like, mm. Mm. was it depression? Because, you know, that's a very... You know what? I don't know if it was depression. Like, um, and not personally for myself. I, I don't know if it was depression because I've never been to any... Parking, uh, a, a professional. I've, yeah. I've, I haven't been diagnosed with depression or whatnot. Sure. I don't know what the hell it was I was going through yeah. that I continue to go through. I feel like these days it's a little bit better, though. Sure, sure. You know? But I can't say it was depression. I, I, I don't know, man. I can't self-diagnose myself. All I know is that I'm a fighter, though. Yeah. How did you overcome it? Hey, dude. I don't even know how I overcame it. Mm. Um, Were you drinking, substance abuse? Oh, I definitely drank. But the drinking wasn't helping it in any way, so I don't think it helped me overcome it. It just made it worse, how I overcame it and how I... I, I, I I fed it uh, to totally different things. Yeah. You know. Um, but I definitely drank a lot. Um, yeah, man. There was a point where I was drinking myself to death, bro. Damn. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I got, I got arrested in Botswana, dog. Mm. I got arrested in Botswana. And that's when I was like, he. Why were you getting arrested? I overstayed and I was out there smoking drugs and getting high and, and drinking and just living it up and i overstayed and i got arrested so you had gone for a gig and then you ended up staying there oh okay okay yeah wow is my ally still okay yeah yeah, yeah no, you're still looking yes, good man right? just good just good i feel like it's here i feel like it's here no i got you at least i see you i'm looking at you i feel like it's here yeah. No. Oh, what, what drugs were you doing, bro? Ah. Uh, oh, I feel like this part is gonna break my mama's heart because she's gonna watch this. It's a journey. It's a, it's a truth. So she wasn't aware of your substance ab abuse. No, she 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 knew that I had a drinking problem. Oh, okay. Like yeah. the, the drugs. Yeah. She didn't know it affected. Oh, you're yeah. talking like hard drugs. Yeah. Like cocaine oh, and stuff. Yeah. Wow. Did I, I I found oh. myself, you know, you know Jeez. you know, um I woke up one morning and I was in a, a studio. There was a back room studio and I couldn't recall how I got there, 
but they were playing a song that I'd recorded the night before. Wow. And the only reason I felt like I, I belonged there was just because of that song. Like I could hear my voice. And I was levitating, dude. Like I was gone. Mm. And I was like, so much could have happened to me yeah. right here, right now, yeah, yeah. that I couldn't afford off or I wasn't going to be aware of. Yeah. And man, I, 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 like, I, I need to fix myself. And that's when I was like, yo, okay, something needs to happen. It's either I need to go home yeah. or I need to go to church. <laughs> Do you remember your first yeah. line though? I do remember my first line. Mm. And the crazy thing is that the first line had nothing to do with, with music. I was just, I was in a club having fun. It had nothing to do with a studio session or anything like that. Mm. But once the music hit, it it became more accessible mm. and it became a, a regular thing and it became mm. a culture now, mm. you know. It was like, I used to record dope music before the drugs you know dope music. dope like proper stuff <laughs> <laughs> not dope music. what do you mean oh fuck off oh, fuck <laughs> like two guys fuck <laughs> you used to record good music yes like you used to you were able to come out with a hit sober guys I grew up in Norwood so hence I say dope it's like it's like yeah. schwaka yeah yeah, yeah. Well, schwaka, we can bro. tell like you, you speak like you know, yeah. we, you um, know, yeah. burp kid, we know. Yeah, I grew up in Norwood. So you're making <laughs> dope, dope music. Dope I, music. Ma- I made amazing music, and there was no, there, there was alcohol was always there. Alcohol has always been yeah. there, you know. But the drugs were never there, and oh. I don't like. I was like, when did I get to a point where I can't have a studio session now without getting high? Sure. Mm. When did I get here? Mm. Mm. You know, and that's when I was like, ah, nah, man. Mm. You get, I, th- I feel like you get a lot of wake up calls in your life. Like you get a lot of aha moments. Mm. You don't just get one aha moment. You get a lot. Mm. But I mean, it takes time. That shit takes time. So now where we at? Are we still doing drugs? Are we still okay? You're obviously still drinking, but I, it looks like you got under control now, eh? It, does my wig say the same thing? Yeah. No, you could. You look you good. Could. You, you know, good. for some Your reason. Yeah, you look good. I feel, like, I feel like my wig is like. I don't know. Okay, fix it. But you look good. There's nothing to fix. <laughs> for real? Yeah, you look. There's good. nothing good. to fix. Zero, no, you look zero. good. There's a lady there, and she's not. She's you. Are you? Good. Are, are you telling me I look perfect? So. Are you I told you before we recorded. Are you giving me a compliment? Yeah, you're beautiful. You you're totally beautiful, you. man. Dude, you're gorgeous. Yeah. And you said something that disturbed me when I told you you're gorgeous that I didn't like. What did I say? You were like, I can't believe you said I'm... Like, you, it's like you were doubting that you're not gorgeous. I don't know where that comes Did I get, it like, defensive? You said, like, I can't believe... Like, you said I'm gorgeous. Like, as if you don't know. But where we at now? How you... How, where we at now? With the... With the alcohol, the drugs. You still doing drugs? I haven't done drugs in a long time. Mm. I I smoke mm-hmm. a load of weed. Yeah, and I, I love it. Mm. And I drink. I, I I drink. I drink. Yeah. Today I drank a lot. Okay. Nah. Yeah. I don't know if I was anxious or if I was nervous for sure. for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I haven't been drinking as much as I used to. Yeah. You yeah. know. So today I was just like, ah. Let's rock. I have a question. Hey. With the, what has happened for Zola, right? We saw like people coming through, coming coming out to just help him. How would you like people to help you? To help me? Yeah. Because obviously I think it's a whole thing of just speaking out and saying how, where, what is it that you need help with? Yo, man, I feel like I, I, I just, the best thing that people can do for me right now personally mm-hmm. is to get to know me. And f- like, not to focus on whatever they've heard about me, due to this industry. Like, I know for a fact it's so weird. It's it's so weird. Like, I feel like someone has personally gone out for the past few years and went out of their way to badmouth me as best as they can. Sure. And it's worked. Damn. Cause it doesn't make sense how Damn. I can fight with one person or have an argument or altercation with one person and that defines me mm. as an artist mm. as an individual mm. in this music industry mm. like maybe that guy pissed me off if I fought with Ganyani me and Ganyani know what we were fighting for if I had an argument with Tembi I have every right to be mad at them for what they did mm. it, I don't understand why now when I want to work with other people like it's almost as if they don't want to touch me dude Whoa, oh. it's like you're blacklisted you know what I'm saying mm. and I'm like how did I get there 
vis en plek. En dat is bij... This little comedy, you know, comes in, you know. You need to laugh a bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid guy, this one, dude. That laughs and everything. <laughs> yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiesta Black. Thank you. Shout out. Wow. I'm blown. Okay, not yet.